100. In a world where you can upgrade your horsepower. To the RX100 Mark V RX... from Sony. Which one was it called? Mark V. The Mark V from Sony. <laughs> when things get a little nutty, when the horsepower starts to giddy up, cowboy. <laughs> the biggest difference to me between this and the RX-105 is that this little baby here is only has an F3.5 aperture. Now that's about four stops of light, you know, F1.8 to F2.0 to F2.8 to F3.5. So it's about four stops of light difference. It makes a huge difference. As you can see with those street scenes that I did with Andre, there was still a lot of noise. At all angles. We've got them all we angles. We've got all these we've angles. We've got all angles. Bro, we've, got a, we've got top angles. We've got, we've got, got, got twisting. Got we've got, oh, oh, did we get the... That can be avoided by having proper lighting and this this setup right here that I'm in right now is lit properly so there's there's not too much noise. Let's just do a quick quick run over of the features um, now that I'm here in the studio. So we've got a frontal flash, very handy. There's a pop-up viewfinder. I personally don't find it um, useful at all. The only purpose of the pop-up viewfinder, and let me just take a look Oh, you pull it out. Look at that. You like pull it out this way. And the only purpose to me of the pop-up viewfinder, um, yes, a lot of people kick and scream for it. Um, personally, I don't like it. I'll tell you why. You're, 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 um, it's, it's a digital viewfinder and it's nowhere near as comfortable as this. Now, a lot of old fashioned photographers, they kick and scream about this because they expect you to just do this. But if you really um, are willing to understand that the way photography works in the year 2016, I personally choose to use this screen 100% of the time. You know, and I shoot professional level photo shoots that have been featured you know, in various publications all across the planet. On the exact other hand, I know lots of other professional photographers who think that, you know, doing this and scrunching up like this, which is ergonomically terrible for the spine and everything, and that's the primary reason why I prefer this. Yes, it eats battery. The only purpose to me of the pop-up viewfinder right here is to save battery, okay? So if you um, forgot your battery, if you don't have a battery, uh, extra spare battery, and you really wanna save battery, then, you know, use this. But um, anybody you know who's like super professional um, will, will, will. That's the entire point of being a pro is to be prepared. So you know, for a professional shoot, I'll bring 12 batteries. So you know, that's a solution to that problem. So pop-up flash, pop-up viewfinder has a cool little flip-up display here. Fantastic for doing selfie. Another great feature is that it has 30x optical zoom. Now that's extremely powerful, and the reason you can have 30x opt optical zoom with a Carl Zeiss lens. Okay, and that's fantastic right here. With the small sensor, you don't need as big of a lens to get optical zoom, and that's where the magic comes in. That blue ray now, look at that. All right, check this. All right. Now, let's, All right. let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? How you do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And that oh, was optical. Oh. That was optical. That oh, wasn't that's optical. That, that wasn't was word. That wasn't electronic. Oh that my was good. That was nice. All right. So let me show you. See? Got that poppy outie. And then we just go in and there we are. This is literally a 720 millimeter lens, which is awesome. A 720 millimeter lens. That's like unheard of in a big camera. So there's, you know, there's lots of reasons why this is an attractive, attractive camera, fantastic for vlogging. You know, it's just, it's so small. The form factor is great given the quality that, of the Sony sensor, given the Carl Zeiss lens. Uh, for an affordable price of about $400. It's really quite attractive. So that's the HX180. Please subscribe, please give me thumbs up. This is the Hunter Report. Check the description below for where you can pick up one of these bad boys, and I'll see you soon.